I'm Kainz on the Tech Pro and also I'm going to remind you to subscribe to my channel. So today we are going to answer the question that says what is measure of something adequacy? This is a very important question in data science uh, when it comes to factor analysis, okay? So, well, before factor analysis can be performed on a given data set, there must be some correlation between the predictor variables in the data. So we talked about multicollinearity, which used to be an issue, but in this case of factor analysis, uh, this has to be a prerequisite. There must be some correlation, uh, uh, some correlation between the factors in the data. So if there is strong correlation between the variables included in the study, then the data will likely be suitable for factor analysis. But the question is, how then do we measure the correlation between the variables in the data sets. Well, we are not talking about the, the correlation between the dependent and independent variable, but we are talking about the correlation among the independent variables. So basically we are talking about correlation between, take another color pen. We are talking about correlation between X1, X2, X3, and so on, XP. Uh, so we are not saying about x related to y, we are talking about x1 into x2. So correlation among all uh, between this data set is what we are interested in. MSA, which is measure of sampling inadequacy, is a measure of how suitable the data is for factor analysis and is defined using the KMO statistic or KMO index, which is answered on question 18. Other ways of checking sampling inadequacy or measuring sampling inadequacy include visual inspection. So if by visual inspection, it's found out that there, there, there's a uh, few of the variables have correlation of uh, greater than three, then most likely the data is not suitable. But if we have a correlation of many of them having uh, greater than three, correlation of greater than three among the uh, independent variables, then most likely the, the, the data will be suitable for factor analysis. Another measure is, co is, is called partial correlation, and this defines the correlation between variables when the effect of other variables are taken into account and partial out. So it is expected to be a very small value for the data to be suitable for factor analysis. Then we also have the anti-image correlation. So this is more like uh, the negative value for the partial correlation that I mentioned uh, just now. We also have the, the Berlet test for sphericity. Berlet test for sphericity provides a statistical probability that correlated matrix has significant correlation among some of the variables. So this is the concept of measuring sampling inadequacy. We need to check before we actually perform factor analysis, we need to check or measure that if this sample or data set we have will be suitable for factor analysis to be performed. So I'm actually going to stop here and also remind you to subscribe and also like and share my video. And then in the next uh, question, we are now going to discuss what is actually the KMO statistic.